great to be here in New York. I'm Joe Salvo, manager of a laboratory up at G Global Research. We envision the industrial assets of the world, things that GE makes like locomotives, power turbines, wind turbines, being connected into machine-to-machine -machine networks with artificial intelligence. There'll be distributed devices, software, and minds all working together to create innovation, but it is being limited by the speed and the ability to design, test, and manufacture these increasingly complex physical systems. So we have come up with a platform that we call the crowd-driven ecosystem for evolutionary design. The seed platform basically creates a global service marketplace and it allows individual users to orchestrate their own workflows. And it allows this pervasive collaboration environment to spontaneously build and then drift away as the objects are created. This actual project started about two years ago was the first commercial use of Amazon Web Services GovCloud. And we chose it because we wanted an ITAR compliant environment. Uh, it had to be certified and accredited. Uh, it had world-class delivery capability. And of course, we wanted it to be deployed on a global stage. A lot of people that have intellectual property do not want to necessarily put all their information in one central location. This system allows us to take the advantage of the cloud, but also distributes a lot of the models, the tools, the data in various places all around the world, while maintaining all the, govern uh, the, the governance, the controllership, and ownership, which is obviously very important to people in the business world. So when you put this all together, you get a very flexible, elastic environment running on EC2. It allows for both rapid prototyping and simulation and ultimately building real parts that are going to be put together into very, very complicated, complex systems. When we look at this, we think this technology really holds the promise to really change the way manufacturing is architected transform the way we create these very complex physical and software systems. I would hope you would all join with me in looking forward to another 100 years of economic prosperity and growth, this time driven by a incredibly sustainable industrial internet revolution. Thank you very much.